Take a look at the first tweet. Uh, we can show you President Trump writing, I am very disappointed in China. Our, few, our foolish past leaders have allowed them to make hundreds of billions of dollars a year in trade. Yet, uh, following that up with, they do nothing for us with North Korea, just talk. We will no longer allow this to continue. China could easily solve this problem. Now, the word easily to talk about solving the North Korean problem probably uh, should not be used. It's very difficult to situation. But we have heard President Trump talk an awful lot uh, over the past few months about China being a crucial partner here. And we've heard him uh, tone down the rhetoric he used against China uh, during his campaign for that reason. And that's because uh, China is North Korea's only real economic lifeline. And so the Trump administration really has seen it as perhaps one of the best bets for uh, exerting pressure on North Korea. And we are getting the sense of disappointment now from from Trump, uh, from other administration officials who've said, uh, you know, that China does need to do more, that China isn't being effective, uh, that Kim Jong-un is continuing to do these missile tests that really ratchet up the tension uh, in the region. But it is very unlikely, Michael, that China will take very kindly to these tweets. And this perhaps might not be the best way uh, to get them to put more pressure on the North Koreans. Mm -hmm. And of course, certainly China is just one front that Donald Trump is working on because the U.S. is also flexing its military muscle in Korea right now. Now, walk us through what the U.S. has been doing lately. Well, we can show you some video of a U.S. missile defense system test uh, earlier today. It's called the THAAD system. Uh, the test happened uh, in Alaska. U.S. forces launching a medium-range uh, missile over the Pacific. The missile was then detected and intercepted. Uh, you're looking at that video there. Now, two things to point out. This test was already uh, pre-scheduled. It wasn't uh, in response to North Korea's missile test on Friday. Uh, and it intercepted a medium-range missile, not the intercontinental type that North Korea says it tested. But this is a system the Americans have been working to set up in South Korea. Uh, the U.S. also flew two supersonic bombers over South Korea today. They were joined by uh, South Korean and Japanese jets for part of their flight. And that was uh, a direct show of force in response to North Korea's actions on Friday. So again, Michael, we are seeing increased tensions around North Korea. What we're not seeing uh, is any real sense of how to ease uh, this, again, extremely complicated situation.